स्लाइड ऑसम सो एज यू कैन सी इफ यू आर गोइंग थ्रू ब्रिज वॉट यू सी इज द स्ट्रक्चर एंड इवन इफ द ब्रिज इज फिफ्टी फीट हंड्रेड फीट हाई वॉट इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट इज हाउ डीप इज द फाउंडेशन हाउ स्ट्रॉन्ग इज द फ्रेम how strong is the structure so if you are trying to build your reputation as a public speaker if you are trying to have your have your story stand out you need to think in terms of structure no the speaker and this is a very funny thing uh, but yet very very uh, practical as well that speaker who starts nowhere usually gets nowhere so you whenever you are speaking you need to have a structure which is an opening a few transition and also a strong closure uh, one of my mentor he says that a good structure doesn't freeze you instead freeze you very good play of the word but still very very tactical and uh, very interesting so what is a typical structure when it comes to whether it's a speech whether it's a story is you need to have an opening you need to have body and you need to have conclusion so i wanted to bring some more structures that i have researched and you can apply based on different contexts for example there is a structure model which is called what so what now what what does that mean is what is it that you want to talk about and so what is what is the impact of that particular thing that you're talking about and the third is now what which is also called as call to action so for example <coughs> if i say uh, public speaking is one skill which is you no know, most dreaded and yet it is very very important that is probably what and so what would be when i tell you that you no know, do you know around 90% of the people have some or other fear of public speaking and if you don't work on it uh, you're probably going to be left behind and that is going to be the now what where i am giving you a call to action where i'm asking you to do something so that's another alternate structure that you can apply the next structure is what are you going to say say and what you said so this is coming again from dale carnegie's uh, school of thinking where uh, he says that if you have a speech you have a talk uh, you say okay tell them what i am going to going to tell them tell them and tell them what you just told so you tell them okay i am going to tell you about uh, uh, what is it that we are not, we were going going to cover in this mastermind session and then i cover those points and then say okay so today we discussed about this and this and this in the mastermind session that's another structure which allows you to uh, uh, structure your um, uh, talks uh, the third one is about facts argue and appeal for action uh, this is very uh, good when you are into a debate and those kind of uh, aspect where you you are given a, a viewpoint to express so you tell a fact and then you present it from both the side and then you tell them what is it that you stand for what is it that you appeal them to do another model is show what is wrong show how to remedy and appeal for action then there are another model is secure interest which is you give a hook to people and then win the confidence now this is one <coughs> concept called foundational phrase uh, and i know sherin also uses sim something similar which is that you need to have a common phrase a phrase that you are repeating at least three times in your uh, talks because when you do there is a magic about three times when you do something three times it gets registered in your audience's mind so whenever you are talking about a idea try to find one small phrase which can be called a foundational phrase for example uh, let let's say we need uh, the world needs storytellers now if i'm using this phrase i can go on different aspect about why is storytelling so important and then again repeat the phrase and then i can go to a different dimension talk about where uh, what are the different examples and people who have used storytelling for their career betterment then i come back to the same point the world needs storyteller and then at the end i give a call to action and then again come back to the same foundational phrase the world needs storyteller so whenever you are structuring your talk think about what could be the one big idea one foundational phrase that you can use in your talks and you can use it multiple times 
so that by the end of your talk, your audience remembers, if nothing else, that particular foundational phrase. Now, um, this is another critical part is how do you open? And we have done few sessions earlier, uh, but I just wanted to repeat that you no know, opening of your talk is so, so important. Uh, your audience usually will remember the way you open and the way you close. It's very unlikely they will remember everything else that you say. So you have to focus on how powerfully you open and how captivating your closer is. If you can just do these two things, regardless of what is inside your different points, if your opening and your closer is powerful, your audience is going to be amazed at your delivery. So always remember that you have to focus on the opening and the closer. And <clears throat> let's talk about some of the wrong ways to open. So good morning. I'm so-and-so. It's my pleasure to talk to you today about blah, blah, blah. Boring, right? Or this is this is my favorite. This like whenever somebody says, I'm like, okay, don't do this. I'm so sorry. I haven't actually prepared for this mastermind. Sorry, um, session. I'm like, first of all, you shouldn't tell me if you're not prepared. I should judge. But when you tell this, I'm so sorry. I'm not prepared. You're actually insulting your audience. I'm being totally blunt and honest. If you tell them that, I'm so sorry. I'm not prepared. Even if you're not prepared, you're actually telling that boss, you are wasting your time. This guy is not good for, not worth your time. So don't ever do that. Don't ever say, I'm sorry. Or another very interesting thing is, yeah, this is such an amazing weather outside here in UK where six months it rains. How are you feeling? Not interested. <laughs> Nobody wants to know what is the weather here or weather in Mumbai or weather in Chennai. Cut to the chase. What could be the right ways to open your talks? One is we are storytellers. We love talking about story. So having a compelling story, just jump right into a story. It was 1994. I was on the roof in a small town. And, and, and I, when I saw those aeroplanes and the white smoke coming out of those, I looked at my sister and said, you see the smoke that comes out of when the airplane flies. And you know what? I will be traveling in those airplanes one day. And then both of us laughed because we thought this is what, this is a big joke. Now, 25 years later, now when I travel in those international flights, I still remember those days. Now that is one of the opening of a lot of keynotes that I've done. What it does is it actually takes you right into a scene. So when you use a compelling story, it's a, one of the best ways to open your talk. You can also use props. A lot of people have very efficient props. I know one of our members, I think uh, Simaji, Simaji uses the props so amazing. I mean, I've never attended her session. But I keep seeing her updates on Facebook and I'm like so captivating. I would love to attend her session or actually ask her to come and take a session here in the community. The way she uses the prop is an inspiration for all of us. So if you have a thought about any prop, that's the best way to use. Instead of you talking, if the prop talks, nothing better than that. Then having some rhetorical question. How many of you want to become better at uh, speaking? How many of you want to have an impact on the number of peoples. How many of you want to become the mentor you never had? When you ask those rhetorical questions, that's a best one of the best ways to open. Next one is having silence and pause. There's this uh, big uh, coach, uh, very famous in India, and he, he I think he recently put it on his uh, YouTube channel, and he went on a stage, and he was just smiling and silent for roughly a minute. Now you might think, oh, one minute is not big. But if you are asked to speak and you keep quiet for one minute, that is a big time. 60 seconds is such a huge time. And he was just silent. 
just smiling, looking at different parts of the audience, different sections of the audience. And then he talked about the importance of having right pause and what are the different ways to open. So yeah. even silence and pause can be used in a very good way. Yeah. The next one is some startling facts and figures. So pretty much self-evident. Now let's move on to transition. Very, very important point. How do you move from one point to another? How do you move from your opening to your next point? How do you move from your first key point to second key point? A lot of time people move very awkwardly. And uh, if something that we all need to work upon is working on the transition. I'm going to share some of the examples. I'm going to be little fast, but if you any of you need those, I will be more than happy to share the slides, uh, take it and use it for your next presentation. So some of the transition is, as I say, is the bridge between two key points and between similar, you can always say likewise, similarly, instead of just stating one fact and another, you can say likewise, this is what, if you have contrasting ideas, you can say, however, no, we, we love to go there. However, the weather is not conducive. On the other hand, on the contrary, that's another transition type. Then elaborate. When you have to elaborate a point, you can use more ever in addition, furthermore. Then you can, one of the best ways is to actually say, I'm going to share three facts with you today. When it comes to storytelling, number one is there was a study done uh, in New York about insignificant objects, which showed that when you employ a story, it increases the value of an article by 2700 percent time. Number two, there was another survey done which says that uh, when you the typical retention is five to ten percent, but when you employ storytelling, it can go on to 65 to 70 percent. And the third and the final one is it has been proven that if you want to keep somebody awake in your session, use storytelling and pauses. This was the third point. So when I say first, second, third, the audience sees a mental structure of what you're going through, what they're going to talk about. So that's a very uh, good way to transition between different, uh, different statements, different points. Then you have show cause, supporting examples. So that's very, very important to have transition. And the last one, which is, as you can see, the background, the closing, the show is about to end. You want to have an impact. You don't just want to say, Patricia Fripp, she is uh, one of the, she's the first women president of National Speakers Association in the US. And she says, your last words linger. Even in this phrase, if you look at the last word linger, it has such an impact. Your last words linger. Even the code is written in such a beautiful way. So what is the wrong way to do is, just thank you so much. That's all I have. Let's have a Q&A or feel free to email or call me. Uh, those are the wrong ways, but what could be the best way? Give a summary of what you talked about. Give an illustration. Sometimes people bring a surprise element to the end. Have a story. And the best one is have a call to action. So those, I think, are the points when it comes to having structure in your talk when you are having these tools in your hand or in your arsenal when you think from the perspective of how do i'm gonna open what are the points that i want to use how i'm going to transition and what is going to be my captivating cause uh, closure this is where your impact is going to be multifold so always think about structure a lot of time people think that oh, i would go impromptu but if you want to become an impactful speaker, you have to do your due diligence, which is you have to work on your content. You have to bring structure. You have to practice and deliver and get feedback and then get better. As they say, a best, uh, a great story is not delivered or written. It is rewritten and re-delivered. So that was today's topic. I thought it is very, very important at the outset of 2023, when we are getting into this journey of becoming a better speaker, we go through some of the basics 
of how do you structure your talks? How do you go through that? Now, um, social media celebration, I'm going to keep it over here. Uh, I know I've been talking a lot. I'm going to take probably a minute to stop and ask for any feedback. Anyone have any suggestions? We discussed a lot of things. Any, any insight anybody wants to share? Uh, please go ahead. Hi, good evening. Hi, Rajesh. How are you? I am good. How are you? Happy good New Year to you. everyone. Happy so, New Year. So, my hai ki ye presentation was very good and we don't use these things just because we are not structured. Although somewhere or other ways we have you know, learned it somewhere, I do not know. You have told me that we have many things but just because it is not structured in our mind, we are not able to plan and enough to solve these things. Yeah, so, that's right. 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 That's so we do not speak anything like this. कुछ भी कभी भी बोलना हो जाता है. So आप ये presentation दीजिए. We would like to have it, you know, kept us kept with us for you know future reference. और उसके साथ साथ if we use it, I believe this is one of the you know best thing we can do for myself. If I speak, I'll be doing my best presentations out of this structure only. It would be very helpful to me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brijesh. I, I will share the, the slides. That's all for the communities, nothing personal. So I will share all of it with the, all of you guys. But yeah, let's, I think what you said is very, very important is no, we all know a lot of things. I'm not saying that these are all my material I've invented. I've also learned and studied and gone through the courses, workshop. Uh, but we also need to be reminded of all the things, all the, all the concept, all the practicals, and the second important part of all of this is, which you also said that, no, we need to practice. We all know are so many things, but we also, we only practice a few things only. So I'm going to actually invite you and everybody to actually participate. The reason we are going to have two sessions on practice every month is the same, that we want everybody to come here and practice and get feedback. Maybe you don't think, you don't, uh, thing that you need structure, but when you somebody else points out that okay, you didn't work on your opening, maybe the way you were transitioning could have been much better in this way, or maybe you need to have this kind of power closure that will open some bulbs in our mind, right? So that's why it's very important to practice. So thank you for sharing that. Monica ji, any thoughts on you? You have a beautiful dog, I see. <laughs> Uh, well, I think so. It's been, I would simply so I say it's a new year, new resolutions and um, somewhere, yes, we would really look forward for uh, somewhere as a community, uh, develop something new Absolutely. and more of an innovation. And uh, But of course, since it's a teamwork and we might, uh, I would say there is really a milestone altogether to uh, work upon. So that's what I can say. Absolutely, absolutely. Awesome, awesome. I also want to acknowledge a few people who generally don't join, but uh, I think because of the timing, they're able to join. So Avik, welcome. I think, I don't know whether it's your first session or second session. Uh, how did you find the session and what is your feedback? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think this is my second session. Yes, you are right uh, on the weekdays. I tried to join, but because of the work questions and traveling, I couldn't make it possible. But I think Sunday sessions will be really helpful and try to join and continue. Uh, the sessions, uh, I think today's session was very much informative. As someone said rightly, like uh, we know, we knew a few things in a scattered manner, but today's sessions helped us to you know frame it in a more organized and structured way. Probably in this way, if we try to do some rehearsal internally at home, probably and coming into the platform and uh, <clears throat> participating in this kind of, uh, you know, uh, this kind of sessions probably can help to get feedback and improve upon. Absolutely, absolutely. Do sign up for all the, I mean, this is a very close community. So don't worry too much about all the technicalities and background or language. Somebody really pointed out, Sherin, thank you for pointing it out. 
yeah don't worry about too much of that hindi and english i can understand for other languages i i can guess i may be wrong uh, but yeah let's let's practice let's make storytelling beyond the language barrier of language let's work on becoming a better speaker which doesn't really involve story i mean doesn't involve only one language we need storytellers in every language in the world awesome uh rohit i see you also have joined today so uh, tell us your feedback is it your first time second time how many times have you joined the session before rohit are you able to unmute yeah yes, yes. Yeah. i am joined first time actually actually i registered last year but first time i am joined this session wow welcome let's give a big round of applause to rohit you made a milestone you are on the right track so in 2023 i hope to see you more i would love to see you on camera if you are able to come otherwise that's fine as well yeah yeah oh great good to see you. so what's your feedback how did you find the session and what other kind of topics you want us to cover no nothing actually i attended the first session it is very useful actually after that i am unable to attend due to my work present like that but right now i'm attending again i am want to attend awesome awesome it would be good i think this this time is working for many people so i'm happy to have this in session uh who else ruchi how did you find the session what's your feedback all right i think maybe she is not able to okay thank you ruchi uh rajesh ji how was your experience i know you joined in between ha hello haritoji yes it, uh, i had a great experience in terms of like i always wish to uh, learn the best way to present yourself in the the storytelling though i have not just last time also you said that like, you should come and uh, present your story but yes this time i will definitely Uh, you know enroll and i'll go for it because i also wanted to know where i need to improve and how i can be a, a good storyteller thank absolutely. you so much absolutely absolutely do it next week itself don't wait too much <laughs> yes yes i i'll i'll do it awesome awesome all right so uh, vandana ji if you are able to unmute and share your feedback as well all right i think she i she informed me she is also in another meeting so i'll probably let her go ashwini our long time member uh, you have done so much for the community so what was your experience like hi hartosh hello everyone yes i really like uh, the way you present the things and looking forward for the same this year as well i try to learn whatever i can learn from these sessions and uh, always try to do my best and try to learn the new things from the new team members as well so welcome everyone to the board this is a really a great things and i i hope uh, it will help you to gain the success and learn whatever you want to learn let's continue this journey and wish you all the best thank you so much thank you ashwini thank you we would love to see your face sometime thing we have not seen it in a year or so so i will love to see you whenever your camera starts working uh, thank you avik for opening the camera if those of you who are able to uh, come on camera i'll probably take a screenshot we need to work on marketing so i'll take a screenshot and i'll post it on our facebook group and other places so thank you for doing that Uh, i thought she i just wanted to ask one thing uh, yes. there are a lot many slides i think uh, i just wanted to ask you have you covered those thing previously uh, can you get inside the app so mm -hmm. i will share the slides i mean this is a whole workshop presentation i did a few months back which is about public speaking i'm happy to share all the slides that you want uh, this is also part of a course so which is what i was talking about maybe because most of you have joined through storytelling course and what we want to do is go uh, go away from course based to community based which is where we want to cover on different aspects one is of course the courses but also about these community session we want to have more challenges and i have we have some plans for more challenges more certification more those kind of session collaboration within the community and outside the community as well so 
what i'm going to do is next in next couple of months whatever courses i have at the at this level i'm going to make it available to every one of you in the community so that now we have courses on public speaking we have courses on storytelling and all the other aspect that we have covered corporate communication things like that we'll make it available to the community for our level 1 members and then we'll go on to do next level things like so that is why things are changing in 2023 for better for all of us and uh, just hold on and wait i wait and watch i would say uh, for this slide that we i used i i i will share it in the group and over email also if you anybody needs i will share all the slides you can use it and best would be to come and practice in the sessions